All right, everybody. Here we are, nice spot under the palms last night at station S65E. There's the uh, gatekeeper right there, or the lock keeper, what they call them. This is a lock right here. They let the boats in and out um, of the river to the dikes. Um, I think this is an old path here. That's an even older path over there. Um, but we just camped out right here. It was flat. We stayed dry. Um, the trail is right up here to the left, and we'll be walking um, 1.3 miles to um, the freeway. The freeway is 70. Um, the post office is also on 70, so we should have an um, easy hitch right into the post office. We will get a new Gossamer Gear, the 2. Um, a new tent pole because my trekking pole broke. Um, and a couple of other items um, I'll let you know once I get to the post office. But that is the start to the day. We got 50 cow about to get out the tent. We'll pack up and roll out. Give you a holler in a few. Oh shit, I didn't turn it around. Dang it. Man, this boy was staring right on at me. And I knew he was going to take off that. Looked like a hawk. All right, everybody. We got a little bit of blue up ahead. Things starting to clear up a little bit. We got a horse maybe wanting to come play. Back here. Hey! Now, I don't got hay to eat, but you want to make a special appearance, come on in. So, we are walking... The road has turned into this nice, oh, check out them purple boys. Uh, nice little packed sand, packed beach road type stuff. Uh, it's really pretty nice. It's not terrible. So I think we are seven miles in for the day. No clue where we're trying to get. We did our, handled our business, made it to the post office, made it back to trail. And now, I don't know, maybe, uh, you know what? It'd be nice to set up. I think I might make it a short day. Make sure I'm set up before the skeeters get out, before the sun goes down. That golden hour that is one of my favorites to hike in, whether it be morning or night. It's just, oh, atrocious out here. The bugs tear you apart. So, I think I just saw a snake. Um, something rippling in that water over there. Um, Oh shit. I don't know if y'all heard that. I just walked right in a daggone puddle looking for a daggone snake. Uh, I don't forgot what I was saying. Those, those sneaky snakes threw me off. Threw me off. But I remember I'll let you know what I was even talking about. The flies in this section. Oh my. Oh my. They're not playing. They're not playing. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the bugs. I'm trying to get set up before, um, before the bugs go crazy. So maybe let's call it an early day. And at 5 o'clock, plop on down. And just use time. I don't like using time or distance. I, you know, when I feel like I'm done hiking, I like to be done hiking and set up my tent and go from there. Uh, but I guess I can check the map and see. All right. We made it to the park. We got Barrett hopping the gate because it's a little flooded over at the uh, stile. So, quick easy hop. We are actually on some double track, which is a nice, another nice change. 
This is a little more sturdier and softer than the sand beach pack road, which is good. Either way, it's not hard pack right, pavement. Check out this cool sign, guys. Tell you where the trailhead is and all this stuff. I'm heading northbound. This is for the southbounders. Isn't that cool? So here we be. This is what I'm following. Double blaze. Top right. Let's go right. Let's get it. Uh, so I just walked out of the... Oh, shoot. I don't know where I'm at, guys. I don't know. Oh. Kissimmee River Public Use Area. Yates Marsh. I'm at Yates Marsh. That's where it's at. So I'm at Yates Marsh. And I just walked past the trailhead. Coming out of the park. Coming out of the marsh. And uh, there's a gentleman there checking out the trailhead map. And I just uh, give him a shout. Hey, how you doing? He said, hey. And I walk up and he's like, do you have a YouTube channel? I said, yeah. He's like, I looked at your Florida trail the other day. So that was my first YouTube notice experience. That was kind of cool. That's never happened before. I've never really YouTube before, so it makes sense. Uh, I just wanted to share that. That was kind of cool. So, guys, if you guys could please like and subscribe comment hit the bell for notifications watch all the videos if you want it surely helped the channel uh, because this channel is to grow um, the hiking community grow the culture of the hiking community and surely to try and get more hikers of color onto these long distance backpacking trails uh, and definitely making this page active and getting into the algorithm would surely help everyone to get more information on hiking, to know that there's hikers of color out here actually hiking. And that's it. And if I ain't hiking, who is? It must be me. It must be me. So it can be you. And I wish it is you. I wish you get on and get out to hike. And you want to go on and go on and hike? Go on and hike. Ain't nothing holding you back except your mind. Except your mind. That's it. You can just unbind your mind, figure out what you want to do, and you can go on and do that. Whatever that is, it ain't got to be hiking. But whatever it is you want to do, let go of a couple things and focus on one thing. All right, everybody, here we are. Now 178, looks like 50 cal says it's not raining. So, go ahead and put the umbrellas down. Got a little drizzle. Uh, yeah, it's clearing up here. So we are back on trail. We just walked through a lovely sloth. S L O U G H, however you want to say it, slow, sleuth, sloth, whatever. This is nice to be back on trail. So, it's not as wet as the swamp, but pretty wet as it's been raining like crazy for the past five days straight. Uh, I was talking to this guy in Okeechobee. And he was telling me, Mr. Danny, he said in all the 75 years of his life that he'd been living in Okeechobee, he's never seen weather or the skies like this. So, something's going on down here in this time of season. And we're just trudging through. I'm going to put this tag on umbrella. I guess I'd do it one-handed. What's cool is it goes under my butt but my hat is in there right now and we're back hands free 
up. It's wet as hell. I'm trying to keep my feet dry, but might as well just go for it because it's, yeah, here we are. We're just in it. We're in it. But this is the day. I think we're only going to go another two miles um, because the next 10 miles, We'll be coming up towards a road. Um, so I think in two miles would be a good stopping point. It'll be almost 5, 5.30. Sun goes down about 5.50, 6 o'clock. So um, she's not too high up there. So we'll go another two miles. Get camp set up and not be too close to the road and get after it tomorrow. There's a spot. Rick! Look at that stuff! There's a country store. Um, there's an option tomorrow. Tomorrow, at, when we get to road 98, we're gonna do a five mile road walk. But in the middle of that five mile road walk, there's a store that serves hot food. Or we can do the five miles of trail and miss the hot food. But it'll probably be trail like this. So it's either if we want a road walk and hot food or trail and wet feet, but not banged up feet. So we'll see. Y'all, this loss is cool. Remind me of like an old corn maze or something. So you got blazes here. This is nice. The ground is super soft, which is definitely a change for the last 130 miles. That's super nice. You can hear the bounce, the squish. It is ultra wet nothing you can do about that but we well there is something you can do about it walk right through it walk right through it and that's what we're gonna do oh this is a cool big oak tree this is nice all right big oak everybody looks like they take a break right there um we're definitely gonna call it a shorter day um, after seeing what the trail has turned into, we're going to get to this trailhead up here and try and find some camping early because if we get to another sloth around nighttime camping, just will probably be wet. So we're going to hike, I think it's only 0.8 more miles to the trailhead and start looking for something to set up. Um, just don't wanna be dark, wet, dark and wet, looking for camp this evening. It's supposed to be another um, thunderstorm about eight o'clock. So it'd be nice to be in the tent, the brand new tent that I'm positive will keep us dry, at least for, whew, Five or six hundred miles is usually how long it's solid for. But like I was saying earlier, me and 50 Cal are both six foot tall. So I make sure to guy it out tight, which is where the seams bust at. Um, I don't think it's user error because the guy outs are there for extra length. And they just start to bust at the seams and it gets wet inside the tent, which is not fun. Right at your head and toe. And it just fills up the tent very quickly. Whew. All right. This is a nice change of pace. There's definitely some wind blowing in. Blowing something in, which is nice because it's sticky out. Today is the first day Caught a couple hot spills, busted a couple little sweats, but nothing where it's like, okay, I'm sweating 
all day. And that's been today. But luckily, unfortunate, it's been some drip drops on the forehead. And, well, not on my forehead. I keep the umbrella out, but a little rain to cool you down. And there's definitely a breeze with it. I don't know if you can. Yeah, there you go. Check it out. There's the breeze. So I'll give you, I think I'm gonna take my hair out. It's, uh, it served its purpose. I think we're gonna let it, let it ride free. Let the fro get a couple of miles out here. And uh, I don't know, we'll see. But camp is coming up soon and I'm a little bit excited for it. Get to camp early, hang out. We'll watch a couple of the Avatar episodes tonight and we'll plan on if we're gonna road walk or slop walk tomorrow. I'll keep you posted. Yo, we live from the brand new Gossamer Gear, the two. It's raining and I don't have to worry about getting wet, no I don't. Thank you Gossamer Gear for the excellent customer service. Um, right here is where it always busts on me. You see how it's kind of, I don't even have it taut that tight. And then right here for our six footness, as you see, she's not laying out, but I'm stretched out. And I'm almost right there. So if we don't have it stretched out, we all up in here. Now we just in here, which is cool. So, 